Able to Cook is sponsored in part by Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Welcome to this edition of Able to Cook, the one and only program in Vermont and beyond that focuses on cooking for people with special needs and their families. This is episode three of Able to Cook. We would like to thank our sponsor, Washington County Mental Health. On this um, edition, we will focus on the harvest meal of Washington County Mental Health. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Arlene Seiler. And now, let's take a look at Mindy Sprague and crew when they cook for the Thanksgiving meal of 2019 over in Berry. Let's take a look at this. Is that helpful? That's helpful. Can't fit one in here. How long it took you guys to to cook that? Three hours. Uh, the turkey, we have 80 pounds of turkey. 80 pounds? 80 pounds. Oh. Yeah, there's two trays there. Okay, and then you turn it over, and okay. it tells you what they are. Turkey. Okay. Just the hey, Rosie, we got lucky, they're both turkey. Okay. So the, this goes with the order, so okay. the person at the end knows that that's the end of the order. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting people, just getting the stuff. How are you today? Good. Okay, post office, all their stuff's over on that round table, so as soon as I pack it. Okay, how many is that? They have uh, seven. And people said seven? Post office has seven, and Jubal's has, we'll probably have to get their beds, correct? Admin spread? I don't yeah. I guess so. Uh, five, yes, people's is seven also. Okay. Oh, Lauren, how are you? How's Rachel? Good. Hey, Is that butter done? It is butter. <laughs> Look at all that butter in There's that. definitely a lot of butter oh, in there. Really. Yeah. Tastes good. good luck, oh, we need to break so it went from the learning Everybody network to the learning collaborative. I'm sorry. Please. Uh, Mary K. Casper. M A R Y K A Y K A S P E R. Uh, what's the reason for this event today and Thanksgiving, and then you can go into like some new things that are happening in Washington County? Well. For me, this event is about building community and giving back to the community, gathering people together to celebrate what they have accomplished this year, and offering opportunities to community members to come and support the individuals that participate in the activities that we offer. Um, as far as the activities that you guys offer, uh, I understand that the Learning Network changed names. Why? 
Well, we, what we wanted to do is we've been working on creating a more global vision of what we want to offer at the Learning Collaborative. And so we also want to focus on the integration of community and being a part of our communities and celebrating all of our connections. And so sometimes in order to create a new vision, we have to let go of the old ways. And so the old name really didn't reflect where we're going. And our program is expanding to invite other teachers to come in and to be involved and provide programs that are very different and diverse and more global in their orientation. Last year we had 78. And spread the lids on so keep them hot. Actually, we're going to set this table up after these are done. So, uh, Mindy, why are we here today? What's the reason? Uh, why I'm here? Um, yeah. I'm here to um, help people out with food and um, like do takeouts for people and something like that. We do a lot of takeouts. We we like to help people. We like. And you like doing this? This is second yeah, year doing yeah, it, right? It second is. year. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. it is. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. All right. Got fair No problem. Go ahead, Sorry. I come down North Street. What you cutting? Halfway up Berlin Street. Potatoes. For more, for more mash. For more mash. Wow. You guys probably go through a lot of mash. Yes. Tons. Just to, just to, remember you gotta put those in water, otherwise they'll brown. Right. Thank you! This place looks a mess. It, it is. It is. I'm joking with you. It is. But it is. I don't care. There's nothing like potato peel. in your mouth. I'm joking, I'm joking. Nothing like potato. Excuse me, pardon me, Didn't your mother ever tell you to clean up the mess? <laughs> mm hmm I never did, though. No. So, that's Bob, why, I'm That's why I got an A in lunch in the sandbox. <laughs> My father used to tell me that joke. Bob, I'm moving. Really? Where are you going? Oh, you're not even going to believe this if I told you. Okay. One's due April 10th, the other one's due April 11th. Talk about bad planning. So, yeah, I, the movers come. Apparently. My daughter goes, well, I have to say, Mom, you know, it happened. Okay, Nicole, just really? tell her she got some extra vegetables from that. Yeah, apparently tell it happened her when I put we were in Texas on vacation. My oldest said that. I go, thanks. Okay, so now we're setting up um Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm
your name and why you're here today yep. and the reason behind this. So. All right, my name is Kirk Postoli and I work at Washington County Mental Health and I am the Communications and Development Director. And I'm here because uh, I cannot wait to eat a delicious meal from the Harvest Meal and I love supporting uh, this crew because all the funds go to our learning collaborative which is a great group of uh, consumers here at CDS, Community Developmental Services, who express themselves through art and poetry and dance, and we love to see that happen. Um, tell me the, well, I, I got Mary Casper's answer, but tell me the reason why the Learning Collaborative changed from the Learning Network. To... I honestly don't know. So I can't speak to that as well. I know that they were thinking about a different name and a different um, purpose. Different, different mission. That's right, different mission. And so Mary Casper is going to be the one with the better answer for that. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Janet Furmeister, and I'm a case manager at Washington County Mental Health. And I'm here today because my staff actually came up with the whole idea of the Harvest Meal. And this is the really second year, right? Totally awesome. Her name's Rosie. Mm -hmm. The second year of... I'm sorry? This is the second year. This is the sixth year. Sixth year. So this is the sixth annual event. We've had it here at the church for, I think, three years now. Um, and I'm here to support the uh, event and help with prepping and serving and cleaning up. But Thanks. Tanya and I need and? Well, and why are you here today? Um, Elsa, I'm here to help out but, um, to sell rubber tickets. And this is my, I think, the second or third year doing this. And I enjoy helping out with the nation. With the um, harvest there, and it gives me something to do. In the community, and I enjoy being with all my friends. And it's a good thing, and it's people to come in and have a good harvest meal for the fall. And that's basically it. Thanks. What are you doing all day? Can I just be your quiet? Put it in the table, I got one. Good. So the salad has to go right in front of me. Can we move these down? Just a I don't have any short table. That's going to take up a little bit. Just put it over there. All right, I'm over here. No, you just take it out of one, and when it runs out, use the other. Okay, that's good, Harold. All right. This is the end result of all the food gone. Well, I would like to wish everyone a happy and healthy Thanksgiving. And um, I'm Lauren Siler. I'm Mommy Siler. See you next time for another exciting edition of Able to Cook, the one and only program that focuses on cooking for people with special needs in Vermont and beyond. I'm Lauren Siler. I'm Amin Siler. And thank you again to our sponsor, Washington County Mental Health. See you next time. Able to Cook is sponsored in part by Washington County Mental Health where hope and support come together.